Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to a presentation for our Employer Spotlight event hosted by the Jobs and Skills Centre. Our Spotlight event to, uh, today is on Central Regional TAFE. Firstly, I would like to do an acknowledgement of country. Central Regional TAFE acknowledges the traditional custodians of country throughout the Midwest, Gascoigne, Wheatbelt and Goldfields regions and their connections to land, sea and community. We pay our respect to their elders, past, present and emerging, and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples today. So, um, as I said, today's uh, presentation is hosted by the Jobs and Skills Centre, which is an initiative proudly delivered by both Central Regional TAFE and JobLink Midwest in the Midwest and Gascoigne regions. We are a one-stop shop for employment, training and career services. But more about us later, because today's Spotlight event, as I said, is on Central Regional TAFE. So I'm now going to hand over to Carrie Puzza, Manager of Staff Capability, to tell you more about Central Regional TAFE, working there and so on. So thank you, Carrie, and it's over to you now. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Um, great to be here. Thanks for inviting me to talk about Central Regional TAFE and what we do as an employer and why you might want to come and work with us as one of the larger education institutions in WA. So Central Regional TAFE was originally formed in 2016. It's actually a merger of three different colleges um, back in 2016, Durack, Goldfields and CY O'Connor. So we have nine campuses spread across um, from Exmouth through Carnarvon, Geraldton, uh, Northern, Mora, Meriden, and in Kalgoorlie. So we cover just around 54% of the state, which is um, quite a lot of an area, which means we have quite a lot of people that work for our organisation and we service more than 10,000 students every year, delivering um, many, many courses, 300 courses and skill sets and so on. So there's lots of things happening at Central Regional. We are a nationally recognised training provider, a registered training organisation, and our main aim is to make sure that we can provide training and skills for future opportunities and jobs. So that's our vision at Central Regional TAFE. So the mission is that we provide that quality assured training that responds to industry needs and builds communities and regions. We are very much a large employer in our regions and we like to work really closely with our community members as well to get them what they need and get what industry needs. So you'll see there we are also a values based organisation we're driven by vision mission and values and those are embed embedded throughout our policies procedures and in all of the actions that we expect in our staff so if you're looking at those values there and think, yep, they all align with me, then we welcome you to consider Central Regional TAFE as your next employer. Um, so don't be surprised if you get asked about those values in an interview process, because we do really want to make sure that your behaviours match with the uh, intended behaviours of our organisation. So why would you want to come work for Central Regional TAFE? We have really um, quite excellent employee benefits and they're all listed there in terms of rates of pay, in terms of the professional development you can get access to. We have really um, friendly working hours so that are, that are quite flexible. Uh, your hours are often able to be moved around if needed. We have a great team culture. We're an equal opportunity employer. There are lots of things like salary packaging options and 10% super that you um, expect to see these days with uh, employers of choice. Um, we operate across a variety of different departments. So as I said earlier, we're, we're spread across 54% of WA, um, which means we have a lot of departments that help to service all those different areas. And we have um, three main arms, so corporate services, organisational services and training services. And if you are uh, ever thinking about being a member of staff and working on the non-lecturing side, it's quite likely you would be looking at uh, a role in maybe HR or in the marketing and comms team or planning and quality. And there's lots of, lots of different roles in those areas that can come up. If you're considering being a lecturer, you would be as part of the training services side of the business and would be a training services team member delivering uh, your industry profession to those people who want to be part of that industry in the future. 
So what kind of training do we deliver? There's quite a lot. I'm going to click a few things now. So I won't read all these out as I'm clicking away because um, everyone can see what those are. But if you ever want to search through the courses, just head to our Central Regional TAFE website and you'll be able to see every course that's delivered by the organisation at the moment. Um, I'll just play you a very quick video, Carmel, if that's all right, with, um, with a few ideas to show you the kind of things that Central Regional TAFE actually deliver at the moment. go um lots and lots of different things there Carmel uh, and um because we deliver so many different courses of course we need the lecturers to be able to deliver those courses to the students uh, and lecturing is a great career move if you're an industry professional at the moment and you've you've got more than five years experience and you're thinking I'd really like to be able to train the next generation who are coming through in your industry area then lecturing is a great way of becoming a dual practitioner. So you continue to be an expert in your industry, but you also become a training and assessment practitioner as well by, by doing those lecturing activities. So what does a lecturer actually do? Uh, one of the most common things you'll go straight to is to say a lecturer basically stands up in front of a classroom and delivers to students, or maybe they're showing them hands-on in a mechanics um, garage to show exactly what happens in that area of study. But of course, there's lots of other things that go with being a lecturer. So not only are you engaging with different delivery methods with your students, you'll also be constantly developing materials, you'll be marking, planning, there's preparation to do, there's the continual liaison with industry that's really important to make sure you're as up to date as possible as a lecturer. And depending on the role, there may be a need to travel occasionally. Um, generally, it's a Monday to Friday kind of role, but sometimes those hours can be um, in the nighttime rather than in the daytime to make sure we can deliver classes to as many people as possible. Um, but it's a really varied role and lots of different opportunities that can come out of becoming a lecturer. Uh, to become a lecturer though, as I said, you need five years recent industry experience. So that's the first thing I would ask you if you call me up and, and say that you're interested, I'm, I'm gonna be asking you that question. And you then need to be able to pass a number of different eligibility checks, which include the Department of Education National Police History Check, which is not the check you get over the counter uh, at the post office. It's actually a different one, um, but we sort that out with you. Uh, you would need to have uh, a working with children check. You obviously need to be a citizen um, of Australia or permanent resident or have a working visa. And ideally, if you've got your Cert for in training and assessment, that is fantastic. However, we know that that is something that a lot of people don't always have, yet they've got all those industry skills. So we would work with you to help you gain that Cert for in training assessment if you don't have it already. 
So what are the benefits of being a lecturer? There's a great salary range. It ranges from 76 to $102,000. Uh, the leave is fantastic. Eight weeks paid leave every year. Uh, as I said before, flexible working and weekday hours generally. And there's access to different benefits as I um, talked about in terms of salary sacrifice. There's lots of professional development opportunities. And depending on the area that you currently live and work, there may be a potential to access relocation and housing subsidies as well. And that varies depending on the job and the location. So we obviously have a large cohort of staff, as I've said earlier, um, and I've just wanted to tell you a little bit about what some of the current staff say about working as a lecturer in particular, because we do have a lecture pool out at the moment uh, that people can apply to. And you'll see here that Michelle Harvey is a lecturer in accounting and bookkeeping. And she says that what she loves most about working at Central Regional TAFE is the staff and students. And she's um, actually worked for TAFE for quite a while. I've been able to move through different roles. And she says that every single new intake of student brings different challenges, which forces her to come out of her comfort zone. So not only are the students growing, but so is she. So that's what she takes away from uh, lecturing at Central Regional. And another lecturer, uh, we have Andrew May. He's a lecturer of commercial cookery in Kalgoorlie. And he loves the fact that every day is different. So he could be teaching practical skills in the kitchen one day or in a classroom teaching theory the next. And he loves being able to pass on his skills and knowledge because for him, it's an industry that means a lot to him. And he wants to be able to make sure that he can make a difference to that industry as well by teaching the students of the future, the, current, the future workforce. So a couple of awesome uh, lecturers there. And if you then want to know where to find the jobs that are available at TAFE, you can access work various different ways. So if you were looking for casual or temporary work, the easiest way to do that is to email your resume straight to HR at TAFE, which are, our email address is there, but it's also on our website. Um, for any long-term contract positions, permanent roles, um, for longer term casual roles, they're all advertised formally through the WA Government Jobs Board. So if you were interested in being kept up to date on what jobs are available at Central Regional TAFE, I can recommend signing up to jobs.wa.gov.au, register your um, details there and select CR TAFE as an agency that you wish to hear from and they will regularly update you with what roles are available. There's also an expression of interest form on our website. So whether you're interested in lecturing or non-lecturing roles, head to our website. Um, and there's two forms on there where you can fill in your details, um, submit your resume, and we can let you know what happens next in terms of how to find a role with us. On that page as well, which is called Work With Us, that also has a list of all the current vacancies too, which will link you back to the jobs board and give you the right links to apply um, to those jobs at TAFE. So that is basically all us in a nutshell. Um, I'm gonna hand you back to Carmel so she can tell you more about Jobs and Skills Centre. Thank you, Carrie. And as you can see, there's a, a wide range of different positions at Central Regional Tape. So I'd like you to ask yourself, do you love writing a resume? Do you love writing selection criteria? To be honest, I don't think most people would uh, say yes to that question. That's where the Jobs and Skills Centre can come in and, and help you and support you to prepare your application so that it aligns and is tailored with the particular position you're going for and with the organisation that you are um, applying for. So we can, we can uh, provide these services for you. They are free of charge. Uh, the only eligibility is that you reside in Western Australia. So we have career information, guidance and planning, um, and help with job searching and job matching, your resume. Now you may already have a resume, you might want someone to review it, someone to update it, um, or just talk about what's in it and does it align with what you're, you're applying for. Um, training and course information, skills qualification rec uh, recognition, apprenticeship and training assistance, and we have culturally sensitive employment and career services for Aboriginal people. So let me give you some quick tips on how to apply for government roles. First of all, understand what the position uh, entails and what the application information is. 
review the position description and start thinking about, do I actually meet those minimum requirements? Can I get those minimum requirements? It's always a good idea to talk to the person that's named as the contact in the ad just to get some more information for two reasons. One, again, so that you can align your application to the position and also through getting a really good understanding of that job, you might decide that it's actually not for you and, you know, you're better off to um, maybe withdraw your interest or look elsewhere. So make your resume, as I said before, relevant to the role. Have a think about the role. What does it ask for? What are you offering that aligns with it? Your selection criteria. A selection criteria is your opportunity to demonstrate how or where um, you have done this kind of work, maybe in the past, or you might have particular qualifications or experience relative to that particular selection criteria. So look at the the question, the selection criteria must be able to demonstrate X and then you start preparing your response showing how you can demonstrate X. Your cover letter, it may or may not be required as part of the application. So your cover letter is an opportunity to introduce yourself, say what job you were applying for um, and just we want the reader to read on. We want the reader to read your resume. We want the reader to read your um, essential criteria. And then once you have done all that and you're happy with the documentation that you have compiled, submit it online via the WA Jobs um, application portal. Um, it's always a good idea to start in advance, to register in advance and to send your documents as a PDF. So that's the, you know, the quick tips on preparing. You can get um, free assistance across any Jobs and Skills Centre in Western Australia. As I said, the only eligibility is that you are a resident of Western Australia. So to access all those free services. A 136464 64 phone number will take you through to your nearest Jobs and Skills Centre in your region. So you can see that there's Kalgoorlie, Northam and uh, Geraldton and Carnarvon. Bulga, Joondalup, Perth and Midland, Broome and Karatha, Peel, Mandra, Rockingham, Thornley, Armadale, Albany and Bunbury. So um, we can uh, assist you over the phone, we can assist you face to face, we can assist you via email, or we can set up something like a video uh, conference for you. So um, you yeah, take advantage of the Jobs and Skills Centre and um, you know, we hope to be able to help you soon. We hope we've been able to provide you with some really good information about working at Central Regional Tape. Thank you, Carrie, for that informative presentation and all the best with your applications. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much.